Hello, I thought I would make an appearance. I haven't done that in a while. I've been super busy. In fact, I'm still kind of busy because I'm dog sitting, but I just wanted to thank everyone for supporting my channel. Also to say, um, to talk about my page membership and that's where I will post some personal things about what I've been up to. And also I will be doing the extendeds on there. So I just wanted to give a little update for that. And so I also thought that I would do a reading using all of the different variety of cards. So let's get right to it. All right, so I'm gonna start with my animal oracle cards and we're gonna pull a card for a sign for you. And we have the elephant spirit, learn from the past. So that's about learning from things or choices that you've made from the past. Doesn't necessarily have to be negative. It could be positive things that when I did this positive thing, when I did this thing, I got a positive result from what I was doing. So if you see an elephant, if you hear someone talking about an elephant, if you see an elephant sticker, if it comes to your mind, I feel like this is your sign to remind you to learn from the past. And like I said, it can be negative or positive, right? Lessons that you have learned from the past, from actions that you have done. All right, I'm going to pull a Wisdom of the Oracle and we have Clean It Up. I like this card because I feel like there's something in your life that needs to be cleaned up. Now this could deal with mental thoughts. It could be, you know, do you keep trying to process something that just is not, it's not going to change? And do you just need to clean that up and to remove that? Um, is there clutter in your living space? I know that that affects me greatly, that when things get messy, I start to feel anxiety and I start to feel frustrated. So is there something that you need to clean up? I was also thinking maybe your car, like I have a feeling like sometimes people's cars are like a catch-all and it's just like, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later because you're not in your car all the time, but I feel like if your car is clean and neat, I actually have to wash my front windshield inside and out because when I was driving it today, I noticed that it was kind of dirty and that gives me anxiety. That's one of my pet peeves. So um, it could be any type of clean it up. Um, also, I was thinking maybe bathroom. Um, sometimes we don't realize how much that affects us. So is there a situation? It could be bills. It could be Sometimes we have those lists of things that we have to do that we keep putting off and putting and put, putting off. Is that something that you need to focus on from, is that something that you need to focus on today? And I, cause I was looking at learn from the past and I was like thinking if you let things go too long, learning from the past, that if you let it go too long, it just creates a bigger problem or learning from the past that when you get rid of it right away or you deal with the situation right away or you clean that right up, that it brings this positive energy and it brings you, it relieves a lot of anxiety. All right, I'm gonna get a Whispers of Healing. We have a Vibration. I like this one because what is your vibration? What energy are you putting out? That's something that you need to be aware of. I feel like that's why this card has come up, especially after it coming up right after clean it up. Because when you clean up the clutter, when you clean things up, when you tie up loose ends, that raises your vibration because you feel so much better because you feel you've completed things. You've dealt with things that have been bothering you or um, it just helps you to raise your vibration level. So I feel like that is something that will help you for today. I'm going to grab a Angel Answers card. All right. Let's see, we have forgiveness, okay. Clean it up can also represent forgiveness with a person. Is there a relationship that you have with someone that has been kind of on your mind or you keep going back to and you keep thinking about? 
is there forgiveness? Is it something that you've done within yourself? Is it something that a choice that you made, a decision that you made that you did or did not do something and you're not forgiving yourself and you keep kind of beating yourself up about it? So is there something forgiveness for yourself or is it for someone else? Is that something that has been lowering your vibration level that has to be cleaned up and that you have to learn from the past that when you let these things go on too long that it just creates more of a problem? So I feel like there's a big uh, lesson here for you. I'm going to pull a tarot card. All right, I'm gonna pull a gilded tarot card. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. All right, we kind of had this one pop out. We have temperance, patience, balance, working things out, compromise. So I kind of feel like there is a relationship that you have that there needs to be some forgiveness and there also needs to be some compromise on a situation. I feel that sometimes it's easier to compromise rather than holding on to those frustrations or those negative energies. And it's a way for you to move on, right? Instead of holding on to something or being stubborn and saying, no, it has to only be this way and saying, okay, well, if I can at least come to this resolution, then I can move on. It also could be with a Sagittarius. So is there a compromise um, that needs to be done between the two of you for forgiveness and even that forgiveness on both ends. But I feel like most importantly, it's for you so that you can clean up the situation and you can move on and be relieved from something that is weighing you down. All right, I'm going to grab a Tarot Grand Lux card. And I feel like this one here. We have Three of Swords. This is what you have to clean up. This is the forgiveness, right? This Three of Swords. Whatever this Three of Swords represents here for you, that this is what is lowering your vibration level and this is what you have to realize. There's some sort of hurt, like forgiveness that needs, you know, needs to be worked through. So this is what you need to move past, whatever this represents for you, whether it's within yourself or with another person or a situation. And I just feel like this is going to help you tremendously when you have this and to raise your vibration. And that's what it's all about is to clean those loose ends up and to clean those things up so that you feel that you are on a higher vibration. And sometimes we don't realize how much those things are bothering us until we actually remove those and clean those up and have that forgiveness and say, wow, I feel so much better. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Um, I also wanted to say a note that I'm not going to be doing the Saturday lives anymore. I've had, I went to go visit my sister and now I'm doing some dog sitting. So it's just like I haven't had the time on the Saturdays to do the lives. So I apologize for that. But like I said, I will be giving those updates on the membership, the page membership. Um, if you want to check that out. Um, you can do it just for a month. Try it. See it if you like it or um, not. So anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for all of your support in my channel. And as always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.